fabulous this morning. How are you feeling? I mean, look at this weather. All right. Love it. My name is Megan Herb, and I am the parade community organizer. Thank you. This parade is a beloved tradition here in West Seattle, dating back nearly 30 years. It all started when the Kane family organized a little get-together for friends and neighbors to dress up in festive gear, walk through the neighborhood, and end up at Hamilton Viewpoint Park. And today, we're happy to keep this tradition alive and well. The parade has grown a wee bit over the years, as you can see. We've invited sponsors to host kids' activity tables and food trucks at the park. But one thing remains the same. We still have the potato sack races that you all love. And we will have plenty of potato sack races for kids of all ages. And the adults, I've seen you do it, don't deny it. Because who doesn't want bragging rights for winning a potato sack race on the 4th of July? This year we are handing out 4th of July swag up here at the staging area. We have families from Holy Rosary School, Westside School, South Seattle Cooperative Preschool, and Neighborhood Naturopathic on hand with pinwheels, necklaces, bracelets, and flags. Please give these sponsors a big round of applause for helping deck all of you out. Thank you. Down at Hamilton Viewpoint Park, you'll find kids' activities at some of our other sponsor booths, including those that I just mentioned, plus Outer Space Seattle, Sense of Play, Mathnasium, and our presenting sponsors, the Admiral Neighborhood Association and Mode Music and Performing Arts. And speaking of the Admiral Neighborhood Association, this great volunteer-led organization is dedicated to supporting our community and bringing great programs to our neighborhood and our families for all of us to enjoy. And that's why I am thrilled to announce that starting next year, the West Seattle 4th of July Kids Parade will officially be part of their programming. This will ensure that our beloved parade and neighborhood tradition will continue for years to come. Please stop by their booth at the park and say thank you. And you can also thank the Admiral Neighborhood Association President Joni Jacobs over here in person. She'll be announcing the potato sack races starting at 11. I also want to take a moment and thank our other sponsors who helped make this event possible, but who are with us in spirit today. They are Fit for Mom West Seattle, South Seattle CrossFit, the West Seattle Blog, although they are here covering the event, very busy. Thank you. Smile for their cameras. We have got the West Seattle Food Bank and Potter Construction. This year, I'm also happy to say that we've doubled the amounts of porta potties we have down at the park, which is something I know all parents care very much about. And if you're hungry at the park, no worries, we have you covered. We've got two food trucks on hand. They're down there ready to feed you all. Little J's Super Dogs and Home Bites have festive food to feed the tiniest of parade goers today. And for those of you craving a little caffeine, we got you covered. We have finally scored a coffee stand. West Seattle Grounds right here in our neighborhood has a cold brew park and pastries. So we've got something for everyone. And now, from Mode Music and Performing Arts to sing our national anthem, please welcome the Education Director for Mode Music and Performing Arts, Jesse Keem. Hello. <laughs> I think we're good. Holstey, can you see? early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's was still there. Oh, shade us that star-spangled banner yet wave. 
or the land.